All right. Just said Dennis Brown now. I'm younger than me. When I was younger than me. When I was a little, when I was in a, like my teens, I think. I watch a thing named Nuggets for the Needy. You wouldn't know about that because you're young. Maybe you hear about it. But Nuggets for the Needy was some of them keep every Babylon Christmas. Because I don't want to elaborate on but the 25th of December represents a pagan feast. When them force Israel to eat swine fresh, they don't have nothing to do with the birth of Christ. But every, every time in a, of the year in a Jamaica, all over the world them who celebrate, they have views of them different things. But most of the world, when I say Christianity, them think it's a man-made celebration, 25th of December. They used to have some in a Jamaica name, nuggets for the needy. But them, them, them keep showing and, 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 and uh, what comes from the show. See? Would I go to people and the money them derive from that? Would I go to poor people them claim? Maybe some people are, are, are suck off what they make. You know the Jamaica theory. But I said Dennis Brown, when I show, I think it was about nine years old. I think I carry, but uh, black and white TV, I watch it for them. I sing, Solomon is the greatest man. He do not know the secret of a woman. You know? And I sing that tune. And I say, but a little boy I'm bad. I am wiser than Solomon. So girl, don't play no trick. Just be calm and be still. Don't run me down for my bread. I think that Derek carry a tune. But he must sing it. I wouldn't want to come up and say, King Solomon, and I wave, you know. And I say, it's a star, this. So before Dennis Brown even a record tune, me I said, this, yeah, you, yeah, you had a bad sick of thing. So when he started and do all them album with No Man in the Island Studio One, that might have been the first album ever buy. You know? So from that, I realized that Dennis Brown is a voice of Jamaica. To me, Dennis Brown is a singer, singer. I remember hearing an interview with Barrington Levy and they asked him why I'm with Dennis Brown. I'm saying, he's a singer, singer. Every singer operate him, you know. There have a lot of copycats who come. Some, because Dennis Brown, if you have the range like him, with that want to, some slur like him for feel. Because if a man tell you, say, so like Dennis Brown, goose pimples must take you, you know. You understand? Because the man can sing. You know, him and Tabby Diamonds. I mean, Dennis Brown is my all time favorite, you know. And Slim Smith from them days, the car man think him sings to all sorts. But as you ask, what well, Dennis Brown is my favorite singer because I think he was the best singer ever come out of Jamaica from them times until him even gone. I hear Dennis Brown do an album, Rare Grooves and Thing, where he sing from all Spanish Harlem and them things. I wonder if, if, if Benny King could have sing like Dennis Brown. Because the man take the thing them and make it own, you know. Dennis Brown really get that gift there. And as long as I live, Dennis Brown will be my favorite singer, you know. I think that Bob Marley uh, might have been a better writer. But when it comes to saying like Dennis Brown vocal, they, they, it's, it's unmatchable. You know, Dennis Brown was just like, wow. And if, and, and if you, and, and I have to show you how much Dennis Brown thing have something to do with me. You see the night when he was going to die? I was at a studio. See? I going in. And they, they call the graveyard shift. And then I come out, him and a producer named Donald. And then they see me and show they were giant 12 times. So, where have some Levi? I said, Well, there I know him. I said, Boy, me and you for do a collab, you know. A brother named Jimmy Hines was my producer slash manager. So, Jimmy said, If you and Fred Axel do a collab, it's have to come for my tape. This is 1999, you know. So, you know, 24 track. I know they like now, they have all the, the hard drive and one little thing, you know? So then the next producer said, no nah, man, you're mad, you're Fredlocks, and then he said, do, do I think it have to come from my tape? So me said, D Brown, I better with the two tune then, man, one female one. See, the Levi solved the problem. So them said, yes. So Daniel now, the producer of him, I said, I'm supposed to go back to America, a man, you know? So hear me, you and Fredlocks now waste my time because I have to put off my flight, you know? And then he said, do that, man, do that. So, I get 9 o'clock the next night, you know. See, that is the, the day when Dennis had passed, you know. 9 o'clock. Like we said, I get 3, 4 hours. 9 to 1 o'clock. So me and Jimmy reach and said, Daniel, with pure 24 tracks here. So I said, boy, I call Dennis and can't get him, you know. The youth where they record them the night before, then I ask him to get the studio time for the next night. I said, him no book time, I'm just an engineer, so Daniel, I forget to do that. So then I'll do that the next day and call Jimmy and tell him, get it. So when Donald did that, I said you to do the, the night shift now, you know. And come out and say, Well, Donald, I think you're gone a foreigner, you're still there. 
He said, no, Fred Locks and Dennis Brown said, I'm going to do a collaboration. I can't get Dennis. The youth said to him, so how much tune Dennis do for you since him start to record? He said, I have some tune before, but since I come back to America, six tune him gone. You know what you say? I don't remember that engineer name. He said, you're lucky you get tune, so much tune from D. Brown. You must say, I, I beat him ball them now, man. You know how I see him right now again. You know, I beat some balls, so. I said, well, we just tell some to one, you know. I mean, and Jimmy did, and Jimmy did, and Spine Show, when I drop me back above you, and reach above you now. And like something that bother me, you know, brother. Like, I can't sleep. I mean, I said, what happened, man? Oh, Dennis never show up, and my said sister, where you know, Aisha, because we live in the said house. No, I don't know what time it was. Good about something to four of them, uh, you know. I mean, I mean, I doze off, but I never really get a full sleep, or nothing. But I hear the door, I knock down. And I mean, I said, who oh, oh, that man? I left down the door, so I said, I just come from the news of Dennis Brown dead. So I tell us immediately if we do a collab with him, and the man passed, and we never know. See? And it's like, for about one year straight, if I hear Dennis Brown tune, I over my mouth, I start crying. I can't listen to Dennis Brown for about uh, nearly, going on, near almost two years. But you know the good thing it brings out to me, if you ever hear my words and it, me and him should have up on a show. For independence, 1999, in part July the 1st, so August the 6th, me there in England, I do a show for Jamaica Independence. And we decide for rehearse, inseparable. Down here, so. That's when we go to Light Park, so I was a bass player of the band. And I forget the tune on stage, but I go up there, he said, I sing it, brother. My man said, like, you swallow D Brown voice, you know. When the man makes some mistake in the band, we just dance it off, you know. That's what I'm done. I'm saying, boy, pray like, I'm sorry, man. Boy. See, so I come record it over. I record it over, inseparable. I do a good job by it. Even my mom would tell her, I talked to me yesterday at the studio. I did a Bob Marley museum on a show. And I sing it. And him come now and say, I say, I'm going to take the eye note about him. You are the sun, shine of my life. So much excitement. He said, if you never make them know that, I'm like, but I say you're flapping you now, but you're angry, you know. So after them said that, I'm boot, man. So you can't give me a bus fare now. <laughs> but my angry is good, you know, because I'm going to have some young artists. Some young artists left on the show, like Brigadier Son and Kazam, them, and I think at the time, um, Exile the Brave, and I think Chronic would have been there, too. So the young crowd, they're there, when them called for me and see this big man come, and I call us, so, so. And I sing all black side, and say, oh, like it, him sing it, you know, because I say, I like, but you said, I touch Dennis Brown now. Jesus, I beat him. I never do that. It's like me that dead. <laughs> so, you know, because like young people, they want you, them friends, you know, because they say they revive reggae. And I don't know if it's a kind of stone, they never stand up, they couldn't have nothing for it. Say they revive. You know? But, you know, we love the youth, them, you know. The one where excel out of, the, out of the bunch. Unfortunately, most people may think so. Oh, Fred, like, my favorite thing out of the young singer, them, is the youth named Romeo and Virgo. See? Because we love singers. And then now you see Chronics, I think him, him, him staying, I think we we'll, we'll fit him. And him nice, you know? So I, I, I was so much wanting him to win the Grammy with him first nomination. Because even Junior Gang who get nominated, I say, him think Chronics have the best album. Well, you know, from, that's why the brand name Brothers step in, so them for, them for just um, retire them thing, because from a mall in there, sorry, it's name, it overshadow everybody else. Because at that time Chronics was real, him come good for, as a starter, you know? Protégé is a kind of thing, yeah. I like him things still, but I'm more in a Chronics thing because Chronics more I deal with for all on to reggae, which we promote that more. Other artists then kind of want to switch to. I like Leela Ike too, you know. I watched her grow up from a long time too, you know. I hope she stay Ike and not Ipe, you know. Because, you know, me I say, because uh, that young one them tend to want to get away quick, you know. So uh, we love them because we watch them a long time and I see them I grow up. I mean, they always want she for bus, you know. I hear me and say, she's different. She just have some boy she with us and say, yo, she can make it us feel like, you know, I say, yes, but I like see every day I sing, you know? And she really, I bust out now. Yeah, man, she's really great, you know, because I'm having them little people them, for carry on the work, but not pass on. Now, what are the things you hear them now? See, it's a set of standards, but me love Warrior King, you know? I have people when me prefer because I like, them, them, where them, are, where they, them not stray from certain things. Them stick to the message, you know? See? Them kind of people, them prefer. Because them up my alley, you know? 
I doubt we stand up for so you have to, you know, you have to really encourage them kind of, you know.